So let's jump back into our script here. Uh, man, I'm already losing. We've got so many things open. <laughs> we want the editor. I'm going to go ahead and enable all these other ones now. And jump back in. We start it back up. Can we create an armor? We should be able to. And we're still going to fix that. I've actually added that to the issue cube already. So yeah, we're still creating and editing with the old one. Let's go ahead and stop using those databases. That's these first two. Now we're just going to use these. And since weapons are integrated right in, I'm actually going to get rid of them. And armor, we'll comment it out because we're going to be doing it a little bit different now. Now we're going to be calling, uh, we should rename these to make them a little bit clearer too. And I'm just going to call it weapon DB. And I bet you can guess what this one will be. All right, well, small a, armor DB. And those will be enabled over here. And let's start with weapon. So weapon db dot, and I just want to call on GUI, which worked the exact same way that we were doing with the armor over here, except now we're just going to be calling it through here. And we were passing stuff in before, and I'm probably going to want to do that again with uh, the new one. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. There we go. We're going to go ahead and jump into the on GUI. I'm actually going to close some of these down now. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't think we're going to need this anymore, but I'm going to keep it open just to be safe. Uh, we will need that. Uh, I don't need to keep this open, but we do have to go through and get rid of all those methods. But since we actually have another database that relies on these, I want to wait first. That'll probably be a separate video all in its own. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing the on. Well, let's start off with doing the list view. So I'll come down here, look at the on GUI method. And for the most part, I think I'm just going to copy this, to be honest. Uh, nothing else method wise that we really need. And we'll post that in. And we're going to need a list view and an item details. And to be honest, this list view up here. I'm just going to be copy pasting this. So I might as well just change the name of the class. And I could just go ahead and make another script and copy paste it over. But I'm just going to be deleting this one eventually anyway. We will have to rename some stuff. So database dot count, which still exists. And of course, since we have access to item, we could also do it this way as well. But there's less typing this way. So database dot get still works and this should work as well and i'm going to do the exact same thing here because i don't think there's a whole lot i'm going to have to change uh looks like we have a few variables which is fine uh we'll come up here uh, we'll just come in and database it and we we can still call database.add, but that's actually going to be disappearing. What we need is item.add. And the same thing here. I'm sorry, actually, add is going to be a method that we actually have here in this script. And the same thing for replace. Oh boy, let's just hurry up and get something working here that I think I'm going to go to bed and we'll edit this in the morning. And the same thing for remove. Uh, what's happening here? There we go. Okay, let's see how many errors we created. A whole bunch. Let's clear these up. Uh, the name database is not uh, here. And this is just add and replace. Uh, wait, what script is this? So this is the first iteration of details. Okay. Uh, we're getting these errors because we went ahead and commented out the database in here. And the error for this one here. So we got to set one up that takes two parameters. Uh, 
Uh, we should be calling this method here. And again, let's just worry about one at a time. Quickly come up, check out weapon DB. Item object database type. Ah, if we take a look up here at the circle, I haven't saved it. Oh boy. All right, we'll jump back into Unity and do they both disappear? Nope. This view does not exist in the current context. And I copied the right class, right? Ah, it's this one. And that's because we've actually gone ahead and taken the other scripts away from it, which is fine because we're going to be getting rid of it anyway. Okay, and here's where we actually have to start jumping in and doing the generics. All right, so we're going to come in and now we have to start uh, telling it what we're putting in. Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergs Arcade at BergsArcade.net and here we are once again back in our little item system. Now, I haven't actually slept. I said I was going to, but I had a cup of coffee. So that's, that's just as good, right? <laughs> uh, so I, I just want to hurry up. I didn't want to go to bed and leave all these errors in the code. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, fix them. They're not that hard. It's just basically we have to convert um, to the generic form T. And I've started to get a lot of classes that I'm not using anymore. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start deleting some of these. Uh, let's start off with this. Do we need anything in here anymore? Database, all the database stuff. We're creating our database is just fine. So I don't need this script anymore. So IS object category CS. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. And it was IS object category. If I delete, it's fine. It just goes to my trash bin. I'll get it back later. And I'm going to keep these named the same. Because I am going to go ahead and be renaming this into IS category or IS object category. And IS, where's the database one? Right here. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll jump into those errors. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead, jump to the first one here. And we do have an add, I'm pretty sure, right? Now we go to it right here. It's in the right class. And if we go back to it. Ah, okay. I no longer want to have, you know, being called temp armor. I want it to be, well, it's, it's, going, to, it's going to be changed to a generic. So we need a, a type, a temp item. So let's go to where it's declared, which is in the list view script. And it's right here. And just to make things shorter, actually, I didn't rename, did I? Refactor, always refactor. We'll go ahead, refactor, and I'm just going to call it T item. Go ahead, save that off, and it's going to be of type T. It's not going to equal anything at the start. Save that off, we'll jump back in. And where is this one? Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll save that script. That script had not been saved yet. Uh, quick check, make sure the rest have. And here we go, cannot completely convert type ISR. Okay, so we have to come into here. And the problem we have is that we have T item, which of course is our temp item, or as you can see, it's of type T. And we're going ahead and trying to create a new IS armor. And we can't do that. We actually have to make it of type T, new T. But when we come in, uh, we're going to get this error here. Uh, read down here, it's easier. Cannot create instance of the variable type T because it does not have the new constraint. And coming from a C++ background, I'm used to templates and generics are pretty close to that. Uh, they're a little bit different. So I'm probably getting something maybe a little bit confused or wrong, but if I come up here and just say new, meaning uh, where T is an IS object, so it inherits from IS object. We could also inherit from uh, an interface if we wanted as well, but in this particular situation, it really doesn't matter which one we inherit from. I'm just gonna pick IS object. And we're going to allow it to have a parameterless constructor. Now, I have not figured out a way to actually allow it to have a constructor that takes parameters. Uh, if there is a way, by all means, someone let me know. Uh, I have not been able to find a way to do that yet. But anyway, if we go ahead and add the new up here saying that T can now be parameterless or have a parameterless constructor, but we're going to have to add that to all of our class declarations. So we have four of them. So I'm going to go through all of them and just copy paste that in Come up here. Save it and here. And save that. I'll get back to this first one because I know I'll probably get something popping up here next. All right, so two left. Uh, the best overloaded method for 
um, right here. Let's go, we'll take a look at that. And right here's where I'm talking about. We have uh, our T item, and we have to make this a new T, but we can't pass in anything like this. I don't believe it. Let me just actually go check just to make sure. Uh, T cap fried armor has been creating an instance of variable. See, right there. So what we have to do is come up here and say T item is equal to new T. So we create the parameters version. Then we're going to come in here and say T item dot clone. Now this is the method that we created with uh, our base iOS object where we could take an item in and copy it. So I'm going to take clone and what I'm going to pass in is what we get from the database. And I just want to quickly check something in in there. But let's go ahead and we'll finish all these errors off first. So we're going to go warning here that the database is never used. Uh, great. Uh, simply because we're using new weapons. So let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll comment that out. And we're going to have to comment it out a lot of places. So I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and we'll leave it in now. But we're just not going to use it. Down here we're just using the weapon and the armor. And I did want to quickly check something out here. Come down to our IS objects. Right down here. Let's look at the initial one. So we do have a clone down here. And we might make uh, this overridable a little bit later on. Let's see how it works right now. But since this has it, every other class has it as well. And I'm pretty sure it works the exact same for all of them. We're actually doing weapons. Let's just actually look at the weapon one just to be sure. So yeah, even weapon has a clone. And of course it grabs the base clone and then adds to it. So that looks like it's going to work as well. So let's go ahead and well, let's see if things are working. So I'll go ahead, I'll fire it up. That worked. We have no errors. Uh, let's get our database up here. This is the database we're going to be working with. So I guess uh, cross your fingers. So it created, uh, what do we get something here? Getting control. Okay, that's the one we're always getting for the quality. We, we have to figure that one out, why that is showing up. It doesn't stop us from working. It just causes a slight pause. So let's go ahead, we'll create an item. Let's just call it, uh, I don't know, item. Oh, oh, this is the weapon, so let's go weapon one. And again, all my zeros will become ones. Uh, we will select this. This hasn't really changed. Nothing should be different here. One, two, two. Let's do hands and we'll assign a prefab. So all that worked. Go ahead, hit save. It did show up. It also shows up over here. And if we take a look here, all the ones and twos. So everything worked great. Let's try an armor. Let's come over to armor. And I guess we don't have armor hooked up. Is that what it is? Let me go ahead and just jump into the script and take a look. And we're gonna close that. Come back into the this one here. So I, I am creating it. I am enabling it. But I am not displaying it. That should be all we need just to get it to work. And we'll do some cleanup before the end of this one. Might make it a little bit long, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll fire this bad boy back up, to be honest. I like to clear out my databases ahead of time when I'm doing a lot of testing. Now, I know some people are like, oh, but I've got, you know, like 100 items in there. Well, you shouldn't have 100 items in there as we're developing it because we're going to constantly keep erasing stuff. Now, if you do have your database set up and you don't want to lose it and you've got all this stuff in there, you could make a backup. But to be quite honest, until we're actually completely done with the system, I wouldn't be using it for anything serious, except for learning. So I'll be able to fire it back up. It creates both our databases. I got to go ahead and create that weapon. Uh, it says create armor down here. So that's something we got to change too. Let's do that now before we even start. So we'll jump back into IDE. Uh, what was it? Was it in the list view? No, it was in this one. So this is what we got to change. I'm actually going to go ahead and move this to the first one. Uh, right now it's private. I might actually go ahead and just make it public. This would be easy. And uh, I'm just not sure. Let's just make it public. So we have this string and we're going to want to change it based on, well, the, the tab that we're on. And by default, I'm just going to have it as item. And of course, if we come back into the actual editor window, and there's a couple places we could do it. I'm actually going to come down into the enable. And after I've done enabling it, this could actually be something that we pass in. I think this is actually something I do want to pass in. So what I'm going to do is pass in a string, and the string is going to be what I want to be displayed. Means we'll have to come to that is, and we're going to say string 
item type. And before we even load the database, that was item, it was str, right? str item type is going to be equal to item type. What we're passing in. There we go. That should be it for that one. Okay, we'll jump back into Unity. Uh, what do we got here? What's this one here? And that's actually what I meant. <laughs> so we'll let that one go away. And it looks like we just have cleanup. So again, jump into our database folder. One thing I want in there is the quality. Delete it. Fire this bad boy up. It creates it. Uh, we're on the weapon tab, and it does say create weapon. If we go to armor, it now says create armor. So we'll go to weapon, we'll help create, and weapon one. A weapon one, sure, weapon one's great. We'll go ahead, we'll save, it shows up here. If we go ahead and select the database, it is showing up, weapon one. Let's go over to armor, we'll go ahead and create the armor tab. And we'll guess what this is, armor one. <laughs> if I can type. Now of course, we'll go ahead and we'll save, it shows up there. We'll go select the armor database, open it up, and there it is, armor one. So great, we now have one script that can create all of our different types of items that we're gonna need. And let's go ahead and we'll clean up um, our file a bit because I know I'm going to want to delete some files and everything else. But you know what? Since I put these up on GitHub, or sorry, my private Git server, I want to save after this video. So I'm going to go ahead, end this one here, and then we'll start all that cleanup in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>